Okay guys, so I actually started reading this book a couple days ago actually. And I'm on chapter eight, which is page 68. And this is gonna be my first little like recap because I didn't talk about this book. Actually, I really like this book so far. I'm not really like deep into the plot. All I know is that like Obviously, it's about Greek mythology. That's like a huge thing of it. Like, look at the title. Look at the look at the book. Okay, so it's talking a lot about like Greek gods and goddesses and stuff. And I guess Achilles um, had like a pair of dice or something. And then like someone was telling him. I think it was a guy that was telling him like, give me those. Let me get those from you. And then they got into a fight. And then he ended up like pushing the guy. Achilles pushed the guy. He died. <laughs> Cause his head like cracked open or something on a rock so then he got exiled from his like kingdom and is like in a different kingdom and basically it's not like prison but i guess it kind of is i guess it's, like his punishment because his father well first of all achilles is supposed to be like a god or like a king or something he's supposed to be crowned king and his father just never thought that he could do it like oh you're not worthy um you know you're just not gonna make it like he was just having like all this like bad like mindset of him like not being a good king not being fit for the throne or whatever so i guess it was kind of like a positive that he got exiled from his kingdom because like his father didn't really like want him to be a part of it anyway anymore but that's where i'm at and then i just seen like oh uh, what's the guy uh the guy the guy the guy the guy the guy that he kissed yes there was a kiss in this book and i thought i was going crazy when i read about like two mans kissing but there is a kiss scene of two mans in this book, two males. So I looked it up and it is real. So is it Patroclus? It's so hard to pronounce these names too. Like <laughs> that's why I'm reading the audiobook because the names in here are like tragic to pronunciate. So that's what I'm doing. So yeah, I'm just at the part where like Achilles is like at the new kingdom and then he's like really good friends with um the one king they're both 13 years old here too and like he's supposed to be doing like this spear training and stuff with all the other boys that are there at the kingdom and i guess he like didn't want to go to it so he like sat out in like a hallway of the kingdom and then the one guy came over to him which is like the guy i forget the name of the kid that he had to kiss with i'm pretty sure he's like why aren't you in training you're gonna get in trouble i'm gonna go tell my father he's gonna be so furious this this and this but then he was like oh why can't you just take me to your um musical lesson i forget which instrument they were practicing but they ended up being like really really good friends and he had like a one-up from like all the other people because like he was being like best friends with the son of like a god or something or like a king or something like that i don't know but yeah now he's like one up and like best friends with him and like has an advantage over every other guy in this kingdom so yeah they're like best buds you know he he doesn't sleep in like a separate room like he sleeps with the king in his like special room has a nice bed gets nice food nice clothes you know like he has privileges over everybody else so that's where i'm at i'm gonna continue reading chapter eight let's see how far i get i'm also doing a read for 24 hours challenge so that's why i'm like in the same outfit and stuff and like reading the same book as another video so don't get confused okay <laughs> all right guys so it is a long while since i like filmed anything for this video any recaps or anything or any speed ups of me reading because i just got a new job if you guys don't know i mentioned it in some videos but i don't know if they're posted yet um i just got this new job and i've been working like a lot and um i just really never had time to film anything for this video like i've been reading here and there but like i just could not film but I'm on chapter 20 right now and I just want to give like my recap because I'm like well more than halfway or I am halfway No, I'm more than halfway I can't even tell but um, I'm on chapter 20 and I just want to give my thoughts, you know, because this is a book vlog after all and I don't want it to suck, you know um, Yeah, so So far, I really really like this book. Um, I'm obviously not the part where everyone cries, which is the ending, because I'm pretty sure I know what's going to happen. Um, 
But anyways, I love Patroculus. Is that how you say his name? I'm sorry if I'm puncturing these people's names wrong or like pronouncing them wrong, but I do not know how to pronunciate Greek names. They're so difficult. That's why I listen to the audiobook because it just makes it a lot easier. But anyways, I love Patroculus and Achilles relationship. They are so cute together. Like literally from the minute Patroculus came to his kingdom and like the minute they just started hanging out from a young age and like developing their relationship, it's like really, really cute and I love it. And I just am reading where like Achilles was, it, I don't know if Patroclus was too, but Achilles for sure had to go fight this war in Troy. And Patroclus knows that he's going to die or he's not gonna make it. That's why I think Patroclus wants to fight with him and be in the war with him. Um, but Achilles has no idea what's going to happen. And like his mother, is it his mother or Patroclus' mother? One of the mothers of one of them, I forget. Um, knows that he's going to die and says he's not going to make it and Patroclus is like really really sad and like I'm pretty sure that's what's going to happen in the end of the book if I'm wrong then I guess I'll find out but I think Achilles is going to pass away at the end of the book and Patroclus is gonna be like heartbroken but yeah I absolutely really love this book I'm gonna keep reading um I'm gonna see how far I get because I'm reading for an hour on my flora is this called flora forget the name of this app but the one where it like grows a tree to keep you focused i'm reading for an hour um i try to read for an hour every day so let me continue reading i'm gonna try not to make this video sucky towards the end but yeah guys i am so sorry for this video they just watched and i'm filming this little clip like a long long time ago from when i filmed the video you're watching um <laughs> also i broke a nail so don't mind that but i'm so sorry for this video like i just have been so busy when i was filming it that this book vlog literally sucked and when i do the next book vlog i'm gonna promise and try to make it like super super good and detailed um but um, you guys know that this book vlog was Song of Achilles, and I guess, like, I didn't give a ending to how I thought, or, like, how I felt. Like, I never closed out the video. I never ended it. Like, what, what was I doing? Okay, like, I don't know. I must have been so busy, but as you guys know, I did start college. I started this job. I'm, like, a month into this job. Like, this job literally takes up most of my life, and so does college. Like, I literally work and go to school. So, like, I literally really don't have time to make videos and film and stuff. So I'm gonna tell you how I thought about this book and I'm gonna try to remember because I read this like so long ago Like this was probably like a month ago. I read this so this is this and I'm sorry that this video wasn't like the greatest But I still wanted to upload it because like I filmed stuff for it. Like, you know, I'm not just gonna let it go to waste So <laughs> this is the actual ending to this video what I thought about this book and I absolutely love this book I will give this book a 4.9 not exactly five stars which I don't remember what I rated it on my goodreads because my phone's on my bed charging but I would rate this a 4.9 just because like it was good don't get me wrong like 4.9 is like amazing for a book and this is a viral tiktok book and I did really like this I liked the relationship between Achilles and Patroclus like it was adorable their relationship was everything and if you're not a fan of gayness or whatever I just you might not like that part about this book, but that's not the entirety of this book. Like, that's not what the main p plot, the main storyline of this book. It's not just about them being gay and being lovers, you know? But that is a part of it, so if you're that makes you uncomfortable, then maybe not read this, but really read this book. I don't care. Like, read it. Read this book. You will do- you will- wow, I cannot English for the life of me. You will need to know some Greek mythology, but if you don't know any, like, I literally don't know any of it. It won't really affect you. Like, I hear people say, like, you need to know it for this book or you're not- you're gonna be lost if you don't know any Greek mythology. Girl, no, bye. They're lying to you. Um, you don't need to know any of that crap, so yeah it's just a fun story about a kingdom going to war and like all the stories and like relationships and battles they fight you know through this it's nothing to do with history so if you're thinking that this is going to be mainly about history and like war and stuff it's not really it's more of like a fun story but also does talk about the greek gods and goddesses and stuff like that but the ending was very sad i did not cry i just felt really heartbroken 
Um, I don't think I've ever cried while reading a book before, so <laughs> I don't know which one's gonna make me cry yet, but this book was really good. The ending was super sad, like I said. Um, when, uh, who died first? Was it Patroclus or Achilles? One of them put each other's armor on and like fought in the war and then like got stabbed right in the heart and like died because he wasn't really supposed to be fighting the war, you know, because he wasn't really trained for that. He was more of like a medic type of guy. Like he helped cure, like not cure, but like help with wounded soldiers and stuff. So he wasn't really fought. He wasn't really taught to fight, if that makes sense. I literally can't speak English today. Oh my gosh. But yeah, I love this book. 4.9 out of five stars, which is still really good. Um, if you want to see any of my book reviews, you can go to my Goodreads, which is down in my link tree, I would hope so. I think it is. I'm going to double check, but it should be in there. And yeah, I would definitely recommend this book to everybody and anybody. Like, this is so good. Madeline Miller is good, but I don't really know. Like, I don't know if she wrote anything other than Greek mythology, because I'm not really a fan of Greek mythology. Like, I don't know if I would read another one, because at some points of this book, it was really hard to understand what was going on, because I just was so lost. Maybe that was because I was super busy, and I took really long breaks from reading this book, but I don't know if I would ever read another book by her, but this one was really, really good, and like, really, really enjoyable. So, yeah, I like this, um, and if you want to see any more book vlogs, comment them down below. I have a huge ton of books, new books that I bought, new viral book talk books that I bought recently, so I can't wait to get into those. I'm actually currently reading this book right here, which is actually two books in one, which I kind of talked about in my what I want to read for this month, which would actually be what I want to read for June, because I filmed this video like a month ago or something, so it was like in May when I filmed this, but um, this book is two books in one. This is what I'm currently reading. This is called Boyfriend Summer, which is the two books are Pulled, Under, and Swept Away by Michelle Dalton. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. I think this Boyfriend Summer is just like the name of both of them combined. So I'm not really sure if it's two books that like connect with each other, like a duology or something, or if it's just two separate summer books, but this is what I'm currently reading. I'm a quarter of the way through the first book and then I will be starting the second book. But I'm really hoping to read a lot more books in June, so yeah. If you guys like this type of video, please like, comment, and subscribe. Sorry for this video not being the greatest that it could have been, but I love you guys, and I'll see you on Monday. Bye!